Welcome to Fret Not. My name is Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the High Gain series. This is a series of uh, guitar reviews. Uh, we're in the High Gain series, series of guitar reviews. They're all custom made guitars from around the globe. Uh, we've tried to pick out <clears throat> as many builders as we could that you might not have heard of, just to give you some insight into these guitars. Um, see what it takes to get them, how much they cost, are they worth it, um, how do they play, um, good stuff like that. Yeah. So um, tonight we are reviewing the Skarvason, Skeverson. How People have that it? at 12 different ways right. nowadays. Um, they're a company out of Poland. Um, they build really high-end guitars. Uh, these guitars can get stupid expensive. Um, and they're they're a 100% custom shop. Um we kind of cheated because this whole channel kind of came about and uh, we really had to have some guitars fast. And in this world, guitars really don't get made fast. So long story short, I uh, have an internet acquaintance and he happens to run Drop D Guitars. And uh, you can look them up online. They got all kinds of stuff. And he just so happened to have a couple. And I saw this one and it just caught my eye. It was very akin to the one I was looking at on Scrivason's site. And... This is probably a three to four month build time. So that was not that was not gonna work for the no, high game series. No, so not too much. Called my buddy, said, Hey, well, can you hook us up? Uh, can we can you get that shipped out to us? So we've had this one for quite a bit now and we've been playing it. And uh, yeah, this is a really, really good guitar. No faux pas. No faux pas. No faux pas. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so we're here in just a second. We're going to get into the specs of this. We're going to let you hear this in a mix. We're going to come back and we're going to talk to you about how we feel about price point, how it plays, what it sounds like, the time frame to get it. Mm -hmm. um, kind of give you a whole, you know, a deep delve into it to kind of let you know what would have to happen if you decided, hey, I want one of those guitars. So um, what we're going to do right now is we're just going to get straight into the specs. So you have something to think about when you're looking at this guitar. Yeah. So this is a poplar burl top cap on here. What do you think about that? It looks really nice. Um, I, I like, I don't want to say the design, but it's just got this pattern to it that you can kind of get lost in. It is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. And you know me, I like, I like gloss, I, I, you know, I like a, cl a, a clear finish. Mm -hmm. I like a, a shine. I like bright, brilliant colors. Yeah. And this is way out of my norm for buying a guitar. Uh, they had another one that was um, would have probably fit my genre of guitars better, but this one was just so interesting. Um, and one of the main reasons I bought this, this is a black limba body. Black limba. And um, it's very good tonal. It is a heavier wood, so it puts a little heft to the guitar. Still not bad. It's mm -hmm. probably in that six and a half to seven and a half pound range so it's not as it's it's not the lightest guitar in the world but it's not super heavy either no. um the neck on this is a five piece maple in wing gay what do you what do you think about the neck it's, it's really uh it's i don't want to say light or smooth it's hard to kind of justify that when it's attached to you know the body and everything but it's a really nice playing neck so this is 24 stainless steel frets we go over this all the time. I don't want to waste y'all's time. They're, the fret work on this is amazing. It's impeccable. I mean, anything at this price point better be. And these high-end guitar manufacturers, um, you know, I guess you could get one maybe one time that, you know, had some bad fret ends on it. The frets wasn't polished right. But um, when you get into this price point, you're not, you better not have to, to, yeah. to search for that. It you know? should kind of be an afterthought. Yeah. So, um, this is, uh, and I'm probably messing this up, but this is a Powell Faro fretboard. So Sounds it's a, good. It, it's a, <laughs> it's very akin to, uh, like a, a rosewood fretboard. It's right. the same characteristics. I think that wood is actually in the rosewood family, but it is a lot more available. Mm -hmm. And in some countries they have kind of, I don't want to say banned, but they don't, they don't look at you friendly if you're cutting down there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the Powell Faro, if I'm saying it correctly, um, is a good al good alternative. It plays really well. It's got a good snap to it. Um, as we said, it's a five-piece wing game maple neck. It is a bolt-on. 
Uh, the construction on this guitar is amazing. It every little thing, every joint, it's it's, it's really good. He, they they did. I mean, they did spend some time with this. I really um, kind of appreciate just how these lines just sort of almost completely complement the back of that They almost neck. make it. And mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of these guitars in Lemon. They don't have the, the black Lemon. They don't have those lines. And that just was really cool when mm -hmm. I saw that. I was like, yeah, we might as well just get that. Yeah. And, uh, so um, this does have the Dunlop strap locks on it. I prefer those. We weren't able to get them on every guitar. But hey, man, they make life a lot easier if you're jumping around on stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just a good way of doing it. Um. So this is a six string. If you know this channel, we always try to use hip shot everything. Um, we love hip shot bridges and we love their open gear tuners. Um, tuning stability is a must doing what we do because we do a lot of, of detuning, alternate tuning and stuff. Not to say we're great. No, but we do that. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to experiment. Right. Um, so on this guitar, now here's the main question for you on this guitar. You have Lundgren Black Heavens. Mm -hmm. What do you think about them? Um, they they roar. They just have a, an amazing sound. You you would just have to play them. So we have another guitar we've reviewed uh, before, and it came with Lundgren M sixes. And I made a statement in that video, um, and I don't know if it's a hundred percent true. But that guitar has M sixes on it, and it sounds amazing because of the type of wood how the setup is, and I love, absolutely love that guitar. But this is a different animal with the Black Heavens. Right. It has a different tonal quality. Um, how, when you're playing it, the, the the dissection of the sound in between each string, how do you, I mean, do you feel like these pickups pull that off? I think they do pretty well. Yeah, I. everything is very, I don't want to say very detailed, but it's, there's intonation. Yeah, you know? Okay. Okay. So the reason I ask you that, so I'm, if you watch this channel, you know I'm very partial to bare knuckle pickups. And I, I think I can pretty much say that across the board for all the ones they make, even though I hadn't played every single one. <laughs> I love bare knuckle. Um, I, I like the concise tightness of a bare mm -hmm. knuckle when you're, you know, if you're doing palm mutes, if you're doing, you know, uh, a triplets, you're doing some sort of a stutter. I like that precise. It puts all of that. You hear every one, but it puts it all right. in a little box. It never does this. It never goes anywhere. Mm -hmm. These are a little bit different animal. Um, they're as good as that, but in a different way. Yeah. So big question. They don't. They don't know it. They can't tell it. You've played the rest of our guitars. What's the difference in this neck? Are you talking like? <laughs> just in the feel of the in back the of the neck, of it, is it... It feels a smidge, I don't know if it's just me, it feels a little wider. It does, but it feels like it's more of just a... It's very smooth. Yep, you know, but it's, it feels like it's got a little bit more depth yep. between the fretboard and your thumb in the back of your, in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. um, and if you play, like if you play the Rykart, you play the cello. Uh, if you play some of those guitars, it's just super small, thin yeah. neck, sort of like a wizard neck. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Small, super fast. Mm -hmm. This one's got a little bit more girth to it, Smidge, but it's, yeah. it's not fat at all. No. But when we first got it, we we uh, I had it for a couple of days before he ever touched it, and I would call him. I'm like, man, I don't know what to say about this neck. It's just <laughs> different. But when you start playing it, you realize that there's a reason why that neck is that way. It just um, it feels a little bit more substantial, doesn't it? A little bit. Like when you're playing it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You'd have to get used to it. Um, all in all, am amazing guitar and amazing you know, work by these luthiers. Um, you could not go wrong with picking anything on their site. Um, they're just, um, it's really good work. Really good work. It is. Um, it is, the pickups are very aggressive. Um, they're very... I don't want to say they're mid-range because they're not. They're low to mid-range because they have a very good deep tonal quality to them. So they're not a bright mid-range pickup. Right. But they um, they do have a good bottom end to them. And they just, they're very smooth. London makes really good pickups, man. I do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shut up and we're going to let you hear some of it in the mix.
Uh, you got a chance to hear some of it in the mix. So uh, what we're going to do is just kind of talk to you for a minute about what we, how we feel about the guitar. So mm -hmm. let's just say we didn't know our friend on the internet and we had a three or four month build time. And this is what you got when you paid them. And we'll talk about that in a minute. How would you feel about that? Um, price point out, you know, given we're going to talk about that in a minute. If I had a three or four month build time and I was expecting this, I would be super pleased. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it's a, it's a really good job. Now I'll tell you the one thing that I didn't know when I, when we purchased it and I didn't really think about it. So the cap on this is very thin. Mm -hmm. uh, compared, not, it's not that it's thin, just compared to some other caps on guitars. Yeah, sometimes what they're, you could get. Yeah, yeah. They're, sometimes they're kind of thick for the cap, and then sometimes they're thinner. And this one is thinner, but that's fine because mm -hmm. that leaves the most part of the guitar being that black limbo. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's really good tonal. Yeah. So now the next question is tone. What do you think about the tone on it's it? It's got great tone. Like like you said earlier, it's kind of got a mid to sort of bottom end, but what it you know what is there, it does exquisite. Okay. Um, so price point on this guitar, probably going to be somewhere between twenty seven hundred and thirty three hundred, just depending on you know if you go straight through Scar Scarvason and you have to have it shipped over, you got to pay all the fees mm -hmm. and blah blah blah. blah. You can pick these guitars up in America. They're usually around three grand, but I think we picked this one up for about twenty seven hundred bucks. Uh, and I think for twenty seven hundred bucks, you're right in that Ibanez prestige. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I really feel like um, you could set this in a blind test. Besides, and I'm not picking on Ibanez. I'm using them because they're big. <laughs> But you can set this by beside any twenty five hundred dollar guitar, twenty six hundred dollar guitar from a big builder, mm -hmm. and in a blind test, I believe people would pick that. They probably would. I mean, in a blind test, you would you would feel comfortable, but you would know you're playing on something kind of unique. Mm -hmm. So overall, how do you feel about? Just the, the guitar's playability. I think it has great playability, you know, and I, I feel like that puts it too simple, but I mean, it, it plays great. So um, we didn't really, we have a luthier not far from us that kind of checks all of our stuff, especially because we don't buy anything at a store. Everything gets shipped in. Everything we get gets shipped in. So I always take it to the luthier to see if, you know, FedEx dropped it, whatever. Mm -hmm. So long story short, I took it over to him and he really didn't do nothing to it. Fell in love with the guitar. He said, it's amazing. Didn't even know who they were. Of course, he <laughs> plays a different genre than us. So that's probably why he didn't know who yeah. they were. So price point on this, about 2,700 bucks. If you order it from a Scarvesa in probably three to four months. Um, so in your opinion, for you just spent 2,700 bucks, you called Scarvesa and you said, hey, build me one, but don't do this, do some blues or whatever, da, 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 whatever you decided to do. And they're like, cool, no problem. We'll build it for you. And that's what showed up in the mail. How would you feel about that? I'd be all right with it. I mean, it's it's a fantastic guitar for not having to, you know, do anything to it. You know, mm -hmm. once you got it, the action's pretty good. It's it's what it's comfortable for me. It's what I like. Sometimes on uh, on some of them, uh, I've had them lowered a little bit before, um, just because it's you know obviously a smidge too high. Mm -hmm. But no, this one you could say out of the box is is a uh, plug and play. So on this one, and we usually don't get into this because it's such a personal preference. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the headstock? The headstock is a very personal preference. Some people <laughs> like weird headstocks or just random, I don't want to say random, but there's a traditional style to a headstock, yes. you know, and this one is kind of traditional, but it's unique. It is uh, its own identity. So they make a lot of different variations or they have made, I don't want to say, I don't know what they do, but I've seen a lot of different ones. And sometimes this cut is at a little bit different. And so on this guitar, you're going to have a pretty much the low E up here on the top, you're going to be seeing it kind of going through the air and mm -hmm. going over that gap. Now I have seen them when there's a, where there's a couple going over that yeah. gap, you know? So I just, uh, it's very unique. Yeah. It and, doesn't bother uh, me. I like it. 
So how do you feel about the weight? So it's not as light as the Lacello, is it? Not quite. It's a smidge heavier than the Lacello. I think the Lacello is probably the lightest one. I of think the it's bunch. the lightest one we've gotten so mm -hmm. far. All but right, it's so still not bad though. If you don't know nothing about these people, do your homework. Take your time. Uh, you can pick these guitars up at various points. If you're in the United States, there's probably four, five, six of their authorized dealers in the United States. You can get it. You never even have to mess with uh, having it made in Poland. Uh, and I know they have tons of dealers around the country. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and anywhere on the planet, they have dealers or close to it. And you can just order from them. If um, you ever get a chance to put your hands on one, it's tough to buy a guitar without putting your hands on it, isn't it? It is. It's a, a little unnerving. It, it is. can be. But um, if our word or internet word, and we're not the only ones, obviously. There's a ton of people out there that really love these guitars. This company builds a really good high-end guitar, mm -hmm. and you have a lot of people uh, running around on stage with them, playing them on stage. Um, they're very stable guitars. Yeah. Um, they're built out of high quality woods. Um, and obviously just because we got this Mirage with the black heavens, if you didn't really like the tone of the black heavens, they, they can put anything you want in them if you're getting it built. And some of them come with just, you know, different stuff. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to let you guys get out of here. We've wasted enough of your time. Uh, this has been episode six of the High Gain series. Make sure you go back and watch the rest of them. Please like our channel. Please subscribe. Please share the content. Yeah. And um, even if you don't like somebody, mm -hmm. especially if you don't like them, share the content <laughs> to them. Yeah, you Who say, knows? look at these jokers. Right? So, Scarvason, this is a Mirage. Go on their website. They have a lot of different body styles. I just prefer this body. And that's me personally. I just like that body. Um, I just want to point out again. That the lines? The lines. <laughs> <laughs> it's very uh It's very, very cool, nice. isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, very well-built guitar. Oh, did you get it to where they can see the electronics the cap? So, that is engraved. It has everything on it from the company. You can kind of see tells it. you what it is. Screw basin. The only problem with that on camera is they made it the body wood. Yeah. And it makes it tougher to see the engraving on it. Mm -hmm. But it is there. And it's it, pretty neat. And then yeah. there's the S down there at the bottom as well. Yeah. So if you don't know about these people, man, please check them out. Um, please go to your friend's house and go, hey, there's a couple weirdos yeah. on the internet reviewing guitars. Mm -hmm. uh, might want to check them out. So uh, please like our content. Please share. Please subscribe. It don't hurt you to do any of that. Um <laughs> We talked a little bit about this on the last video. We are in the process of doing some free giveaways. And this is a guitar channel. And no, we're not giving you toys. And no, we're not giving you $5 off this or a coupon for that. Uh, we're going to be doing some, some bigger giveaways. Um, and hopefully get some people, get some guitars in people's hands that maybe in other circumstances they wouldn't have been able to get it. Yeah. And uh, you're going to be... you going to be able to get a package and you're going to see our uh, mascot on the box yeah. and you know so the more people that like this content share this content subscribe the more of that that happens the quicker we get this done we'd like to get all this up and running and in the next you know very short while as far as doing giveaways we're working with a lot of people behind the scenes um we are not sponsored youtube don't pay us nothing nope. we do this out of um uh, Pure enjoyment to try to get across to you that Gibson, Ibanez, ESP, to just name a few, they don't have to be the people you send your money to. Yeah, they're not now, the only ones out there. Some some of those guitars are really good. Yeah. But a lot of times you lose the soul of a guitar if they made 500 of them that day. Mm -hmm. You lose the soul of it. It's kind of like going to like a dealership, you know, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, I want that new vehicle. And then next day, everybody else kind of has that same vehicle. Right, right. <laughs> well, and that's another thing. When everything we do, all of this stuff is 100% customizable. You think it, they can do it. Um, get your pocketbook ready if you do something crazy. It is what it is. Um, but overall, all of these builders, especially this builder, 
all of them in line. I mean, they just build fantastic guitars, man. Oh, and by the way, we have a new logo, in case you didn't notice. Uh, shout out to Gary. He is a friend of ours. Uh, we reached out to him to see if he could uh, make us a logo. He does these awesome little drawings, and he came through. And so, yeah, that's our new logo, thanks to him. He doesn't have any sh uh, any socials yet that we can tag him in, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to work on that here soon, and that way we can give him some credit, and you guys can see everything he's got. Good deal. All right, thanks, everybody, for watching Episode 6. So until next time. Stay tuned.